Hi everybody, welcome back to day 16 of Vlogmas. I cannot believe it is day 16. As I said, I've said this in my videos a lot, but the weeks are going really quick, the days are going really quick, uh, and it's just crazy. Yeah, so I've got a lot to tell you, and uh, and I can't wait to open my advent calendar. So first of all, I'd like to say thank you very much for all the lovely messages that I got for from people saying how good Erin was on her violin and I have sent her all the messages and she is absolutely over the moon with them. So uh, I just like to say thank you very much uh, for sending those little messages telling me what you think of her violin because she is very very happy with it. Uh, I am having today um, a lovely cup of hot chocolate in my Manchester mug and this one is of the little snowman and they're kind of, they're on the ice and they're kind of going to give each other a little kiss. So there they are. And they're skiing and they're going to give each other a little kiss. So this is my Manchester mug and this one is from 2012. So hopefully you can see that. 2012 and I must say that is a long time ago. Uh, but you know, it is a lovely mug. I do like keeping them, so I am going to have a quick sup of my cup of hot chocolate. And it is the Caramel Galaxy Hot Chocolate, and I think it is four and a half cents for one. So for me, at the moment, that is worth uh, four and a half cents. Uh, I must say, uh, yesterday's video of what I eat in a day uh, has pretty much on plan yesterday, uh, apart from... Afterwards, 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 uh, I had I decided to watch a little Christmas film, and the Christmas film I watched was the Polar Express. It is one of my favorite Christmas films, and it's always on my Christmas film list to watch leading up to Christmas. And as I was saying, so basically, I watched that film, and I had uh, a few chocolates, uh, so I. I, I kind of I, I'm just letting you all know now it's better off being honest than not being honest so yes yeah, so when I watched the film yesterday I had a few little chocolates watching that but I already edited my video and I already had it out there on YouTube so uh, so I just want to tell you so I went over about I'd say about roughly about 10 sins yesterday so basically for me I'm gonna call yesterday an off uh, plan day and uh, uh, no sin counting day because I know I went off and had those chocolates and it's about 10 sins so uh, so I'm not gonna kind of I'm taking the day as uh, kind of a um, new day new start kind of keep going I am having a hot chocolate because I think it's worth it uh, and I think you know I just feel like today I need something uh, kind of um, kind of uh, kind of nice and I just want to have a treat today uh, I think it's because maybe as well I'm feeling a little bit, um, I won't say anxious, uh, just a little bit uh, confused about everything that's happening with um, restrictions and all those things to do with uh, COVID and all those type of things. I think at the moment it has kind of, I think for me, uh, after last night's announcement uh, here in the UK, it was just like a little bit confused, you know, you can do this, but don't do that. Um, see friends but don't see friends uh, pick uh, who you really want to meet up and stuff like that uh, kind of a little bit com I have to be honest it's just been a bit confusing for me and uh, has made me feel a little bit anxious I guess today uh, but I did want to make this video because I did say to myself at the start of the end of November I did say you're going to be doing Vlogmas Allen so you will make a video every day no matter how how, how things go and um, hopefully make them entertainment e entertainment for you but as well as that uh, just to keep going and to make sure that I when I set a promise to myself or a target to myself I try and keep doing it uh, and as well if I make a promise to other people I try and do that as well as well as that um, I don't know if you are like me but I need a diary to write everything down so this is basically my drama diary but everything goes in here Vlogmas ideas, uh, people I need to uh, comment back to. I put everything in here. 
um, and as well as that just day-to-day -day things that I need to do like hospital appointments and other things but I don't know if you're like me you just have a diary that can remind you of things because I use this on a regular basis and I think it's 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 just a good tool to have in life that you know you have a diary and this one is from 221 to 22 so I'll just show you so that's my diary and I was just flicking through my diary yesterday I was looking through it to see what I have uh, at the end of this week uh, as today is Thursday I was like what have I got coming to the end of the week or coming into next week what is my plans or is anything penciled in for there and I did say to you all before that on Saturday um, it is a little bit of drama uh, kind of evaluation kind of going through papers seeing what we're doing for next term and things like that and it is something that you can do with colleagues face to face or you can do it on your own so basically I will be doing it on my own looking through things but there was one thing that I did forget about was I did say before that I did uh, volunteer for the Santa Express on the East Lanks Railway and I did that a few weeks ago and I have forgotten that I have I am volunteering again for, for the Santa Express this Saturday but I'm a bit um, as I said I'm a bit uh, kind of I, I don't really know what to do um, so I don't know because of everything that we were told last night about um, do things um, you know pick things that you need to do don't do things that you don't need to do that if I really should do the polar and uh, the polar express I should do the Santa Express on Saturday or should I give it a miss but it is as I said before it's one of those things that if I promise something or I say to someone I will volunteer or I will do something I will I, I make my best to actually do it and then I feel really bad if I can't do it can't do it especially coming to near the end of the Santa Express Santa yeah special uh, season uh, I just feel um, that it's important for me to do it but as well it's that thing of like I kind of don't want to do something and then put myself at risk of catching any kind of germs or any kind of like new variants that are out there or anything like that and as well um, I know that at Christmas time I will be seeing friends now one of my friends um, is going to be having a operation n next year and um, they I don't want to kind to maybe do something and then uh, if they catch anything or if I catch anything and they pass it on to them uh, that they, then they can't get their operation so I'm really 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 stuck with what to do so let me know in the comments down below if uh, you can give me some advice should I do the Santa Express or should I give it a miss for this year because the thing is I have uh, you have to, to be a volunteer for the East Lanks Railway you have to be a member and then as a member you get trained up at whatever job you feel like doing for myself a uh, ticket collector uh, going on the train uh, doing things like that and as well doing other little uh, volunteer work around the station uh, you can uh, as a member you'll be trained to do these things whatever job or volunteer job you want to pick and you know that will continue next year so other events next year I will be able to do them I will be able to volunteer uh, and you know so so basically let me know in the comments below do you think I should give it a miss uh, because of everything that is happening or do you think I should just be brave and just do it and because I am boosted I have had all, I've had my two uh, kind of injections last year and I have been boosted so I am uh, to um, I, I have done what I need to do to kind of keep myself safe uh, but just let me know in the comments down below what should I actually do should I do the Santa uh, Express or should I just give it a miss and then uh, carry on volunteering next year uh, when everything gets a bit better so let me know about that and uh, what your opinions opinions are so I'm just gonna have a quick cup of my hot chocolate because I do not want it to go cold so just let me know in the comments below what should I really do um, just give me an idea mm, it's really really nice mm. yeah so let me know what I should do um, another thing is tonight I'm gonna watch what are today today I have to wait in for a few uh, parcels coming from Amazon so I'm, I'm on the Amazon watch at the moment so I'm checking the door and I'm doing this video and I'm making sure that, but anyway it makes a difference because if the Amazon person comes Boris will kind of bark anyway 
so yeah, so um, so I am on the lookout today for parcels that are going to be coming later on, and I am going to watch maybe later on or tonight, probably later on. One of my favourite Christmas Carol uh, films, and this is Scrooge the Musical. This is a brilliant film, absolutely brilliant film. If you haven't seen this film, it is absolutely amazing. It's a musical, uh, and it's one of those films where you can sing along. And it's it's kind of like, and I just love it. It's really really good. I'll try and show you the back of Father Christmas dancing and stuff. So, yeah, this is a great movie. I know that you can. Um, I used to watch this when I was a, a child with my parents back in Ireland because um, it used to always be on TV, it used to always be on RTE uh, which is the Irish uh, kind of main uh, channel RTE if there's any Irish people out there you'll know RTE uh, so yeah so I used to always watch that on the TV with my parents, it used to always be on every Christmas and I do know I think it is on Prime you can actually uh, rent it, I think it's like, it's things like one pound something but it is a good film to watch. So if you want to see a good film and sit back and have a nice musical, and it is from, I think, this, the uh, early 60s or late 70s. It's around then. But it is a really, really good film. So I am going to maybe relax later on and watch that. Uh, and as well as that, last night one of my friends uh, popped in and gave me a mindfulness gift box, uh, which I have here. And I'm going to show it to you in a few minutes. But before that... I am absolutely going to get out my advent calendar and we're going to do day 16. <clears throat> hmm. So, let me see. Can you see day 16? Shout out if you see day 16. Okay, so let me see if I can see day 16. <sighs> yes, and straight away here it is. Day 16. Oh, don't lift the box on. Day 16 is right up here. Day 16, so let me see what it is. <laughs> I can't believe it. What it is, is I'm just gonna put the box there, as you do. And what it is, is a hat or helmet for the character I got yesterday. Uh, so Marty's character, when he is in that uh, protective suit, for when they're doing their experiments so it is the hat hopefully you can get to see that there you go maybe that's a better shot so yeah so that's the hat that he wears when he's doing his experiments so that's the rest of his suit so that is very very cool uh, and now i'm going to have another sup of my uh, hot chocolate and then i'll show you my mindfulness box my friend got me yesterday Okay, so here it is. It, it says the little mindfulness gift box. And this is what it looks like. The little mindfulness mindfulness gift box. And I must say it looks, it's a lovely box. It's a nice heavy box and it's lovely. It really, really, I just love the gold, the silvery writing on it. It's really, really nice. So I really, really like that and the, the writing. So anyway. So I'm gonna open the box and oh, when you open the box, it is all wrapped up like this. So I'm just gonna open it very carefully and then I'll show you what is in it. So hopefully I can show this to the camera without letting it fall. I'll give me a second. So that's what it looks like inside. So there's a lot of stuff in there. So I'm just gonna go through it bit by bit if I can so let's put it up there so the first thing in the box open the wrapper is this this is a little book of coloring for mindfulness a hundred uh, mindfulness for in in common so it is so it's a little book of mindfulness coloring in and uh, so these are like some of the pictures that you can do. I'll show you a few more. Uh, yeah, so here's another one. I'm gonna just... So there's another kind of like mindfulness uh, picture. So you get this little mindfulness coloring book, which is, I, uh, that's nice. And I do love doing coloring in. It does help you relax. So yeah, so you get that. And uh, next thing in the box 
you get a a candle so you get a little candle and there it is it's like it says fresh uh, uh stain wax handle so oh yeah but let me see That is absolutely smells lovely. It smells of vanilla. Yeah, that sounds, it smells like vanilla. I wish it could smell it because it is really, really nice. And vanilla is one of my favorite uh, uh, kind of smells. So yeah, so that's really, really nice. Put the thing back on. Uh, next thing you get is some chai tea bags and I think there is a few different flavors in here let's see so you get some some tea bags so I'll see uh, if I can open it if I open it, that is so, give me one second we'll get there as I always say we'll get there in the end okay so we got we got a good few here actually. So we've got feel feeling new. And you can actually smell these. They actually smell really really nice. So you get this one. You get this one, and they smell lovely. You get this one, which says love. And you get this one. Okay, I got a bit of a tickly, uh, uh, kind of tickly nose there. So give me one second. Uh, another thing you get is you get some. Uh, what are these? I think these are coloring in pencils. Yeah, so those like little kind of coloring in pencils, different uh, colors. So really cute little pencil so that's really nice and um, you get this looks strange what's this uh relaxing bats uh bat salts so these are relaxing bat salts that you can put into the bat and i must say that will be really handy for me with my hand because my hand has been really sore so definitely i'll use them because that would be really really nice and then the last thing in the box is this little um, kind of little bag and there's a, a little saying on it, uh, raw rose, so I have to sit back and read this uh, in my own time. So I'll see if I can open the bag and just see what it is. That's if I can open the bag. What is it like? What am I like? Just give me one second guys. Oh, this looks really cool. So it is, and there's Boris Barkin. So what can we say? So it is, what it is is, it is a little crystal. Uh, and I'll read what it says later on, what it does and uh, things like that. But it is, it's nice, it's a nice crystal. So you get that. So that is everything you get in the box. So I hope you have enjoyed uh, my little chat with you today. Uh, I hope that you're all okay. And I hope you have enjoyed looking at my mindfulness box. And uh, yeah, so as I always say guys, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button. And until tomorrow, be kind to yourself and have a great day. Bye.